Hi there, I'm Peter Millard, and in the workshop this week, we're taking a look at the Bench Dog Super Quad Dogs, as well as some Bench Dog Collars. That's coming up next. So, Super Quad Dogs from Bench Dogs. Uh, Bench Dogs are the company behind the Fence Dogs and also the Flag Stops that I featured last year. They may look similar to other types of <clears throat> Super Dog that are available, but these are more of a Super Dog system with four sizes available, from small like this one all the way to tall like this one, all fully interchangeable with the Quad Dog bases. And it's the bases that are what makes this system interesting. Now, in the interest of transparency, I haven't bought these. These were provided to me by Bench Dogs for this review. I'm not being paid to make this video or make this review or give any sort of positive comments, and I don't have any financial interest in the sale of these going forward, so I don't really care whether you buy or not. That's a really bad deal, isn't it? I need a better agent or some agent. Um, let's look at these versus traditional Bench Dogs. They're traditional dogs are made from a single piece of aluminium, usually, that simply plugs into a hole in an MFT-style workbench, leaving a little stub above the bench for work pieces to bear against. The quad dogs, on the other hand, are made from four beautifully machined stainless steel sections that have a really lovely heavyweight, clacky kind of feel to them. The base is made up of a, a central sort of ring uh, with uh, T-sections at either end, the bottom one of which uh, is threaded, and these are separated by a rubber O-ring. The body of the quad dog screws into the base, and as you tighten it up, it just compresses those O-rings slightly. Uh, the quad dog base is just the right size to fit snugly into a standard 20mm MFT-style bench hole, and a simple quarter turn of the quad dog body compresses those rings to lock it firmly into the bench. If you do need a super low profile uh, dog, then they can of course go in from underneath, or you could just buy a 3mm low profile dog from Bench Dogs, because they sell those as well. Uh, but with body sizes available of 12, 20, 30 and 60 mil, then just like Goldilocks, you're probably going to be able to find one that's just right. The beauty of the Super Quad Dog system, of course, is that you can do just that. You buy whatever you need because all of the components are available individually. You can buy the Quad Dog base for £11 and then add a body from as little as £8 for the 12 mil, with all the other sizes coming in at £10 or less. That means that you can get a 60 mil Super Quad Dog for just £21 complete. That's getting on for 20% cheaper than those other Super Dogs that might be on the market just now. Uh, if you can't decide which body you're likely to want, and I'd go for a medium myself, <laughs> then you can buy a full set for just £42. That's a 10% saving. And even better, viewers of this channel can get an extra 10% off when they use the offer code PETERMILLARD10 at checkout. That's PETERMILLARD10 for an extra 10% off at checkout on the full set of these Super Quad Dogs. That's a fantastic deal, but in my opinion, you should take the money that you've saved and put it towards an extra pair of these bases, as then you'll have a pretty complete and comprehensive bench dog setup. Unless you're a Domino user, of course, well, maybe those Maffel Dowler guys and the Lamello peeps as well, uh, then you should be spending another 16 quid or so on these little guys. These are bench dog collars. Yeah, dog collars. These have fulfilled a need for me that I think will be common certainly to every Domino user and probably to you other guys as well. Now these are aluminium, they're designed to fit the aluminium rail dogs that bench dogs do and the idea for these actually came from another YouTuber, a guy called Stuart from the Bish Bash Bosch channel. Now I don't know Stuart but I know he's popped up in my comments from time to time, we've had a little bit of a chat and he seems like a really nice guy. Now Stuart has a small but growing channel mostly looking at the Bosch pro side of the tool game, uh, and if that sounds like your kind of thing, take a look at Stuart's channel, there's a link in the video description below. Anyway, Stuart came up with this idea uh, to stop the rails drooping from either side of the workpiece when he was using the, the rail dogs, and bench dogs have started producing them. Now, as I say, they're aluminium uh, rather than stainless steel, but they do fit the super quad dogs perfectly, and I've had them for a little while, and I've been using them, oh god, they've fulfilled a need for me which is almost indescribable. Uh, in fact, let me let me show you the situation and see if this resonates with you. You're busy, you're making stuff just like I am. I've got three of these to do, six sets of shelves, tops and bases. 
So 18 in total, uh, 36 ends to do. I could have put dominoes in each of these. I'm not going to clamp and unclamp each one. What I really want to do is have this overhang in the edge of the bench so that I can get my dominoes in. Except they're too small. They go to the end of the fence. I can't get the domino in there. So what do I do? I scrabble around and I find a bit of scrap that's the same thickness and another little piece on top of it and then I get a clamp on there and you clamp it up and then then you're good to go except you never have these bits and pieces to hand well how about if instead of doing all that you just had these little mushrooms. This is the 30mm Super Quad Dog with the B collar on it. And all we've got to do, we fit these into the holes on the bench. And you snug them down so that they're not quite touching. Then give them a quarter turn and they're tight. And that's it. That's all you've got to do. That's your workpiece locked down solid. You can make your dominoes, make your mortises, flip it round. Takes no time at all. And when you're finished, all you've got to do, one twist, and they're away and stored safely. So there we are, not really the intended use for these little bee collars with the super quad dogs, but that's my killer use case for this combination to provide the back edge light clamping effectively for work pieces that hang off the front of the bench. This has been a niggle of mine ever since I discovered that the weight of the domino and the downward pressure would actually make that work piece tip up like this. And these have provided such a neat, elegant solution. There's no more messing around with clamps or finding bits of scrap. I think I worked out that a pair of these 30mm super quad dogs and a pair of bee collars was about £56. So it's not a cheap solution, but it's not out of the way expensive either. It's actually identical to the, rice, uh, the list price anyway of a single Festool lever clamp. And certainly for this kind of quality, I think it's worth every penny if you're doing this kind of thing regularly. Now I want to take a minute to thank my Patreon supporters without whom I'd be making these videos in the dark as their regular contributions really do help to keep the lights on here. And you can also contribute to the channel using any of the links provided down below. The links of course to the products featured in this video as well as many other handy little bits and pieces. And don't forget as well to take a look at Stuart's Bish Bash Bosch channel. Again there's a link down below. As without his original idea none of this may have happened. I know it wasn't quite what he had in mind for these colours but it's made a world of difference to me and how I work. So thanks to Stuart for coming up with the original idea and thanks to Bench Dogs as well for taking it on for being so responsive to customer ideas. A huge shout out to Ralph at Bench Dogs too for providing these products for review and don't forget the discount code of Peter Millard 10 at checkout for an extra 10% off a full set of Bench Dogs Super Quad Dogs just for you my viewers that's Peter Millard 10. If you've enjoyed the video then you probably don't want to miss any and the best way to avoid that is to subscribe to my channel and if you do subscribe don't forget to hit that bell then you'll be notified whenever I put up something new or whenever YouTube decides to tell you about it because it's a little bit flaky to be perfectly honest. But that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.